Hey guys, Starcat here, and it's time to do some more Battle Brothers. So, uh, the last episode we had this little camp of nomads, or patrol of nomads rather, running through. We've done a little bit of inventory and management, we've shoveled a few people around. Our uh, people with the injuries have shoved in the back, we've just swapped some gears around, and we've put Zuri into the front with the good and dag and the pike. Let's go hunt down some more nomads. Hopefully hit them just as it hits dawn. Yep, perfect. Engage, and we're looking for more 105 armors. Uh, probably going to try and dagger this guy down with the spear, and this runner whose job it is. Again, this runner it has kind of potential, so we're trying to keep him alive. Um, we'll wait on you, because it's got the worst range. And try and snipe down the double grip cleaver and this guy with the axe got some high ground action so let's pull up towards it um, wait let's see what's what at least I'm just gonna fight them here actually to be honest I just got all these reach weapons just to give you I'm kind of lazy on these easy fights on the hard fights let's do the big repositions but for the easy stuff CBA Okay, uh, looks like we're clashing into them. Okay, <laughs> the runner successfully ran nothing. Uh, how much? 17. We could step up to enable you to attack and you to attack, but I think we'd rather just be safe with it. Uh, so I think we will take, miss out on those attacks, miss out on a double attack here and a double attack here and a double attack here. Um, so, why even move you along? No, I'm just going to end your turn. Alright. And finish? Nope. Uh, pop you there, spear wall. Nice hit. Nice hit. That's a miss. And maybe move up and snipe. Get the kill. Nope. Uh, could move up stab. Saves a hit on one of these guys. Essentially more valuable. Uh, Might just... Uh, ooh, I could rotate. Nah. I think I'll just uh, step you up once. They're more likely to jump on this guy. Then this turn. Nah, they ignore him anyway. That sign didn't attack. Uh, excellent. So he didn't even get to attack once with that spooky weapon. Very good. And then this person I'm going to dagger down. All these lovely fleas start swinging around. Uh, I don't think I want to waste any nice ammo, so let's equip some weapons and shuffle around a little bit. Swing you around the back. And fleeing. Awesome, so they're all fleeing. Uh, so now we just want to lock everyone in. Okay. Uh, you're going around that way. Wait, clear up some of these ones. Uh, you'll do a stab, stab. you do a stab. Step up, nothing. Your job will be to stun him next time. Oh, he bled out anyway. I love to see it. Uh, it's kind of annoying that we can't. Perfect. Alright. Uh, just got that to keep you engaged there. You're stepping up. Neither of those connected. That's irritating. Uh, you'll do the same. Right. Shield up. Don't do any damage. Perfect. Nothing. Uh, 
And the broken pump. Excellent. And you're done. And let's see, we got some more crowns. We've got another 105 armor. Got some more food. Just these are all just just pennies. Love to see the pennies. Uh, full inventory. So uh, one, two, three. Uh, if you have auto loot enabled in the options, um, if you have a full inventory of temporary items, so for example the crowns, the tools, and the ammo, you'll still then pull the top three value items. Um, but saying that we've got a lot of like random things in here which aren't worth anything. Um, so pull out the things which are worth more. That's worth 60, that's worth 230, 95 compared to 46, and then that. And then the daggers are still kind of useful, so let's just do it like that. So we still keep the daggers. Leave. Awesome. Did we get any level ups from that? We did. First level six character. So we're picking up Overwhelm. Take the four, take the five. And then, are we taking the Fatigue? I think it will take this health roll, uh, which will get us to 80 life. And that is probably our final life roll. If we could get to 90, great. If not, oh well. And Overwhelm. Cool. So, come in here. If we're lucky, they'll have been raided or something recently. Then we'll get bonus sell prices. Ooh, there are some hyenas. Uh, they're going to beat us to the hyenas, yeah. All those guys just come take that down. Shame. Oh, and they have got the ambush trade routes. Absolutely ideal. Um, so because of that, we can sell this a, a massive premium. We can sell everything at a massive premium. See, sell that for 600. Sell off all these lovely shields. Uh, only keep uh, three slings. The slings are just eating up a lot of inventory space. But, you know, if we go against skellies, you'll want them. Uh, good to keep some two-handed weapons um, for quick hands. But we... Do I prefer the mallets or do I prefer the axes? I like the mallets and the debuff and they do slightly more damage than the axes. The axe hits both the head and the body though. Um, so really the axes do more damage and that does more armor damage. So it's like it's more consistent. It has the better AoE. Uh, maybe keep like two of each. Maybe keep two mallets, one axe. This is like, I would rather use the higher tier of axes. High tier axes I'll do like full axe comps but we've only got the, the worst axe at the moment so uh, not using two and safe not using that uh, I very rarely end up using whips I think it's because I don't use cleavers as much and whips are only really good with cleaver spec um, right let's just keep the I want to keep spare 70 hats they're nice for my range units but that's kind of it mm, probably not it's inventory space uh, just keep 80 armors. Uh, do I need four 80 armors? Nope. Um, let's keep two spare 80 armors because also we're going to be hiring new people. See, we're really racking up those pennies. How are we doing in terms of food? We've got loads of food. Got let's buy another map, and that's always great. Uh, we're keeping three spare armor, so we'll keep sp three spare helmets. I'll sort ourselves another mana. So we've got one spare reach weapon, a set of spare two-handers. I don't need two whips, we'll keep just one whip. And then those will repair up to either use for bros or just to sell off later. We're okay on tools, a little bit low on ammo. Uh, but I don't want to buy ammo at 227. We'll probably buy ammo when this place is no longer raided. Um, let's see what they got on the Alchemist. Uh, no uh, ranged weapons. The Weaponsmith. Uh, they've got a Katal Dagger. I could maybe buy a Katal Dagger once we clear the raid uh, feature off for uh, this guy. I'm thinking I'm going to make him a Dagger Overwhelm character. It's either Dagger Overwhelm or it's going to be like a one-hand sword Overwhelm because his melee skull isn't all that great. Uh, but we've been pumping his initiative. Might want to treat that wound on him. Uh, might also keep... Um, we'll treat both of these wounds. It also gives us closer to the Surge of Mamok. The Arena. Matches. They're very spooky. How many of their... Th 
Mm, no, it's not what I had up in mind. Right, high is... Ooh, 3,900 is very cheap for a gladiator. It's very cheap for a gladiator. 270 is cheap for a caravan hand. Again, they got like quite a big roster there. Uh, I think I'd probably rather be going for car upgrades. Uh, get another 27 more inventory slots. Yes, means we can spend longer in the wilds. And then we're about to unlock another retinue. I think I'd rather do that uh, just now. And then start buying up like more powerful weapons to snowball us. Let's see. Nomads roaming. Yeah, okay. Uh, sound cover tents in the north. And this is a delivery. Okay. So let's go to the north. Is there anything else for me to sell before we head out? Uh, don't need the spare quivers. Three armors, three helmets, the weapons. Yep. And let's repair that all up. Uh, let's that weapons on. Cool. Or is it just up there? So, uh, we'll sort of go around the long way. Because if we run straight there, I think I'd get there just as we hit nightfall. So if we go the long way around, we get to clear some of this fog and we'll hit there by the next morning. So let's go around about. Because again, we've got quite a lot of ranged units. We don't want to be taking battles at night. And we want to be clearing the fog. So yeah, what I try and do, I'm not the best player by any means, I'm still very trash, but I do try and stay ahead of the, uh, like, battle to travel thing. So we've had 24 days, and we've been in, oh, only 25 battles, and oh, that was good. I want to be, I kind of want to have, like, two battles for every day, but a minimum of one battle per day. I think we have done quite a lot of travel, that's probably what's, uh, um, many, Mac ooh, okay, macro savants are spooky. They're definitely very spooky to take right now. Uh, if you're going to do them, you need a lot of nets. I do have a lot of nets. But, uh, yeah, not really feeling that. I'm not really feeling that right now. Uh, we'll have a sh do that, yeah. yeah, not feeling that. But we'll do that later. Uh, I want to be a little bit stronger. Uh, Necro Smounts are very spooky. Ooh, looks like we've got some tracks up here. What's this? Nomads. Uh, argument broke out the Southerners and the Northerners. We've taken some light wounds across the party. Not ideal. You're now healed up. So you can, re whoop, you can rejoin the front. Uh, where are these footprints? I don't know. Ooh, these look like undead footprints now. Let's put some battles. What's this? Many ancient legionnaires. Uh, we could take that out. Many ancient legionnaires. Uh, so, for that fight, you want to use only blunt weapons. So, this is where the throwing happens. Uh, you can use heavy axes instead of javelins. But I don't have any heavy axes. Um, so, uh, for this fight, we might get some, uh, nice reach weapons. Uh, it'll either be a mixture of shields, and yeah, so it'll be some shields, and then these pole arms are kind of spooky. So, uh, is there any nice terrain? We outnumber them, 12 to 10. Uh, it's probably just gonna fall back to... Kind of wanna... use that. I mean, it's, it's going to be a line battle, but I think I'm going to pull back to there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Cool.
Um, so the main thing which is annoying about fighting these guys is they just spam shield wall up and they take a really long time to uh, take down while these guys with the pikes at the back do a lot of damage. By falling back this much, the plan is that our slings can just throw in a little bit of chip damage. Um, and by the time they get on us, we've gotten a bunch of free attacks on them. And they'll not be able to shield wall up. That's kind of the uh, rough thought process. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, two, four, six, eight. End your turn. End your turn. Wait. You end your turn, you won't get to attack anything. You wait, these guys. I didn't swap out his weapon. I should have swapped out his weapon for another blunt. Actually, I don't think I had another blunt reach weapon, but I could have swapped that onto that. Because uh, he's got higher attack. He is more valuable. Okay, let's see where they go. Alright, so yeah, they're going to fall up. That's fine. Whew. So they'll next go step, step, shield. Focus down these legionnaires because that's the only thing that does damage. So you need to watch out for these guys because every time they attack, they do a morale check on your team, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I could, if I wanted to, I could step up uh, uh, to just like rush attack. Maybe take down. I could maybe take down these two pikes. That's probably worth it so you would go one two swing you step up so then you go there you go there um if we can take down these two it's it's worth it very close Shame I ended his turn. He could have got another attack on. Uh... Take you there to just soak up all these hits. I don't want him to attack him. He's squishy, so I'm going to shove you there. Wait, because they'll step up. Okay, that's that one down. Excellent. Okay, so that's one threat removed. Got some overwhelm stacks. Okay. Uh, step up. Sh should have given. I should have swapped his weapons out for the mallet and everything. That was my mistake. Uh, step there. Just I don't want to give them the free attacks. That's why I'm doing it like that. Nice. Oh, shame that it hit to the head on that one. Let the swing and miss. That's ideal for me. It means that I can bonk into him before he shields up. Yeah, we managed to take out one of the main threats early, which is good. Got another one very low. And hopefully we can just get out the last ones before we start taking hit point damage. Nice. Uh, excellent. So, uh... To, yeah, you'll do it like that. Okay. And step up fifty eight. Rather deal with you. 
24, 29. Do I step up? But if we do step up and focus this one, because he'll drop quicker than just these two attacking on it will. Nice. 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 Getting those hits in. Come on, finish him, finish him. A excellent. Right, just two threats left. Good, fine, just a little couple hits here and there. Miss. Oof. Miss, 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 miss. Oof. Uh, do I want to step up? No. Just don't want him getting attacks on, that's all. Yeah, you can see these shielded ones are a real pain. It's a shame that my um, mace bro was uh, still a bit beaten up. He would bring the mace to the site being great. Probably could have just shoved it onto this uh, dodge guy, actually, now I think about it. Mm. Let's just go for the finish. Again, you can see the piercing weapon having a uh, limited effectiveness. That's him down. Cool. I quite like these fights. They're easy, but you, you're kind of on a clock because also the other thing about fighting the undead is they don't build fatigue. Um... So you've really got to pick um, how you play it. Like, because every turn you're building fatigue, they're not building fatigue, and they're building those morale checks on you, um, which is pretty spooky. I do any shenanigans with rotates. Mm. Rotate. Yeah, not really. Uh. You sorted. Not your free to just run around. That's him down. Excellent. So you can step up, get him next time. Let's run straight down. I was hoping that would clear that morale on him. Miss. Good. Miss. Right. Miss, 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 miss. Oof, that's fine. That's that down. Excellent. He can now walk out on the next one. Step up. Excellent. So that's just this last one. Let's go. Cool beans. They're all fatigued out. Bring that. Actually, that pushback might have made this last in one extra turn. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. The thing which is quite neat about this is uh, we didn't really take much hit point damage, just a lot of armor damage. Which is all pretty kind of whatever in the grand scheme of things. Especially when you're keeping spare armors because you can just sub in the really beat up ones. So as long as this now doesn't delay for too long, uh, that's all that really matters. Keep you I think he's the only one who really got beat up. Uh, mallet smash? Nope. Pike stab? Got an armor hit. Boom. Okay, he's now down on the armor. We don't want to stretch on too long. Come on. 
Oh. There we go. So yeah, you can see we took some damages here. I think too crazy. And we got Ornate Tomb, 595 Gs. Golden Chalice, 988 Gs. We got some nice shields. We got some whatever 130 helmets. Solid in the early game. And then we got one reach weapon. But so you just got the money. You got some XP, obviously. I got a level up on you. Plus three. Oh, these plus ones. Yeah. Take plus four. And then are we taking the plus? I think I'm just going to take the plus one here. Huh? And we quick hands in. Uh, we've got the mallets. Go for the quick hands. This could go Pathfinder, could go Student, if we're keeping him on the back lines. Um, 12. 12 melee defense is kind of... 15 is usually where I'm like, okay, 15 melee defense, you can join the front line. Um, 12 is a little bit low for me. I can deal with it. I don't normally have this many, like, pole weapons so early, so it's kind of, kind of a little bit risky, but we'll go with it. You see, we've got the ancient, that's a broken bladed pike. Unfortunately, it has uh, reduced damage that we've got a unbroken bladed pike. Uh, let's have a look, see. So, you are also fully healed, so you can join the front. So, let's sub you out. These are kind of like our in training dudes. Uh, swap that around and have you and you together. You are that one. You are that one. And you get your thing in the net back out. Alright, so just do a quick armor check. Uh, give you that armor. Repair that. That needs desperately needs repairing. Give you that. That's fine. That needs a new hat. Repair that. That's all fine. That's all fine. Uh, pretty beat up hat there. Uh, 130. Give you that. And I want to use these 130 hats. The fatigue on them isn't the best. They're slightly better. These are only 125s, so but it's two extra fatigue for five more. It's not the best ratio. Um, I can sell them. May as well. They're technically better. We can repair them all up, use them when we damage up our other hats, and then we can sell them off. Uh, that's a 69 armor, so let's take that out. Swap that for that. Okay. Good to go. So most of our tools gone, but we can sell a profit. It's this patrolling party. Yeah, let's see what's over here. A necromancer and lots of undead. Interesting. First necromancer fight. Um, do we want to heal up going into this camp? Could just do a little bit of camping. That's treated. We'll heal by tomorrow. Uh, and we're about to tick into midday. Yeah, go on then. We'll camp to just get rid of that debuff. With the gold tick to go out. And that's all good. And we've patched up some of these injuries. And we've patched up a bunch of this armor. Okay. So, how do I want to do this in terms of gearing? Do I want to change anything out? Um. I don't think we do, really. Okay, should be a fun fight. First necromancer of the campaign. Uh, let's see how this goes. Twelve v fourteen. So you want to be pushing up on them. Hmm. How aggressively do I want to push up on them? 
If I push aggressively up on them, we can take pot shots on the Necro with my range units. I'm kind of tempted to rush that far forward. There are, there are two ways to do Necro fights. Uh, option one, which is what most people normally do, is you kind of turtle up and you just slowly beat your way through the undead. Um, and you make the most use of the fact they can only attack once per turn by default. When the Necro empowers the undead, they can attack three times per turn. But that's only one. They're only empowering one at a time, right? The Necro will spam Resurrect unless you destroy their head. We have a lot of blunt weapons which can cave the heads in. We're not using cleavers which can decapitate. That's very fatigue intensive. Uh, so that's kind of like option one is to just like slowly grind through the fight. Eliminate the main threats which are the undead. Option two is you're trying to rush down the Necro. Uh, if you can rush down the Necro, great. Um, then you're not having to deal with as many resurrections and it just makes the fight a bit quicker. So if we were to push up really aggressively on them, it'd be to try and get the Necro. The other thing would be to pull back. And then if we pull back, then we just grind house through it. Um, so since we have all these reach weapons and everything, we have the range, we can grind through it pretty easy peasy. Hmm... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So we, we can't push up and attack with this bow. Um, go on then. Let's pull back. Do it the way that we like to do it. This is definitely the safer way of doing it. So the other good thing about doing the pull back thing is uh, by doing it this way, then we get to just take more pot shots on them and um oh that was a sure sure why not uh yeah yeah intended all right the only real dangerous ones are these mallet guys so far and the axe hmm so, the two-handed weapons are extra scary on the undead because they don't build fatigue, which means they can always spam their special abilities, which makes them kind of irritating. Okay, cool. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Am I holding you there? If I hold you there, you're gonna get swarmed. Kinda don't wanna hold you there. We pull you back. You can't attack this time, but oh well. So next turn we collapse on them. We could in theory step up and take a bunch of swings with our reach. Um, could also throw this guy, our dagger tank down, just pull a massive horde of them. Could be an option. We've got a bigger line than they do. Because the necro always hold back some guards, so the necro takes down to 13 as guards. means there's like 1, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. Um, be, I'd pull these two down. I'm gonna put him there for now. He might pull some of them. Just that. Just gonna end. Just gonna wait because they can't move to an attack. And uh, mallet smash. Score misses empowered swings. Very good. Mm. 
Mm. Gonna wait on you. Oh, come on, he's got one health. Wait. Shoot down. Wait. Wait. <laughs> All these, like, one health survivors. That was an axe he would have dropped. Right, it looks like you're being left to go by yourself, right? Dagger dude is going to go dagger dude. The nice thing about that is the guy with the shield went on a flail user. Uh, let's prioritize getting rid of this guy with the axe. Fine. Now they're starting to resurrect because they do that. Right, so he's got two mallet boys protecting him. Good to know. Right, so you dealt with. Nice set of misses. Nice set of misses. First set of throwing weapons down. Mm. Oh, come on. Getting that bleed is kind of irritating. Especially in a long drawn out fight. It would have been better off swapping to the dagger and double attacking them. Probably would have been, actually. There was a lot of resurrecting that happened just then. Is one health. Ah. <laughs> it's getting a little bit silly now. Right, so because the Necker is engaged in melee, he can't do his empowers or his resurrections anymore. So that's fine. Nice little miss. I'm going to do this. She might... I think he might be able to get him down. let that guy attack into me now, but I'm probably going to snipe him down. Anyway. Ooh, out of ammo. Is he down? Good. He's blocked that two-handed guy from attacking. Love to see it. Sorted you out. 
Uh, I'll probably preserve the ammo at this point. Let's move you up there. Ooh. Ooh, that head hit wasn't... That wasn't it. That was not it. I did not appreciate that one bit. That kind of changed the whole tone of this fight, just, just ever so slightly. That was like a very clean, nice and easy, calm necro fight. Suddenly like, yo, we need to save this guy. Okay. It's a little bit annoying. And now he's going to resurrect him as undead for the BM. That's just not cool, dude. It's not cool at all. Okay. Let's go get our revenge. Stuff first, proper loss. The campaign. Mm. Unbelievable. It's okay that we weren't too attached to that build. Um, but Toby. I'm sorry. I mean, you never know, Toby. You might come back. You might come back with a, a, a permanent injury of some description. Um, be kind of careful about leaving ranged units in the path of people spawning. I'm just going to keep like these guys behind. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think once they've been resurrected, I don't think they can come back. I think that's you, you done. Uh, right, so we just leave those guys just to deal with these guys who come back up. The rest can deal with this whole little vibe. A mess. Let's wait. Good shot. We can deal with him. That's you down. Jump in there. That's fine. A little bit irritating that it locks those people up. Uh, I'm gonna let him attack into him rather than attack into me, so we'll wait on you. Ooh. Mm. I don't like this necromancer. I kind of like that guy. Again, wasn't one of our best units, but I kind of liked that. I kind of liked that guy. Uh, that was mildly, mildly hurtful, should we say. Did not appreciate that one bit. <clears throat> if we can end this, the Necro before he uh, gets resurrected, we might be able to save him there. He would have to like just roll a not too crippling injury. Don't want to lose the flail deed as well, that'd be beyond tragic. Okay. <clears throat> That's a slight problem. Ah. Ooh, we AP'd out. That's a... Ooh. Ooh, I think we've let this go on too long. This is now where we get punished for not bringing these guys into the fight to help out. We end up suffering more losses because of that, and that's really bad. Yeah. 
Do not. Do not. I'm telling you, no. Ahem. Ahem. These messes. Oh my. This is getting silly now. And yeah, I now feel bad for holding those guys back. I did say that would happen. I blocked him from attack. Oh, no, I didn't. I can fit them there. This guy just doesn't miss. What is this guy on? Thank you. Okay, we got there eventually. Okay. Right, the Flail God has got a weakened heart. And Wendell has got broken... Oh, some of the worst injuries you can get. Right, those are straight retires. That, that hurts on an emotional level. On a spiritual level, that hurts. Um, that's... It just doesn't feel good, you know? That really... Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel great about that one. Um, okay, so you're just bricked, Wendell. Losing the melee defense kind of just bricks you. So that's a retire. 240 compensation. So if you don't pay the compensation, people get sad. So that'd be 240. And how much for you? 150. So that's 390. That sucks. Gonna do it, though. Oh, so when you retire them, you get the gear back, just so you know you don't lose the gear. That, that hurts. Okay, so we've opened up our slots for some hires. Because uh, you're not that special. You're fine. You kind of join in as a temporary. Um, just dude. Okay, so you're like whatever. You're just kind of holding the line. You have some potential. The iron lungs is nice. The health starting out is nice. Yeah, you're fine. Um. Yeah, I feel I don't feel good about that. Okay. Right, let's carry out this last bit of fog and then dip down. Sure as we hit the town for morning. That's, that's, that irritated me. Mm. Mm. Still, we've uh, been doing pretty well. Starting to get good level ups. Just going to camp because we need to camp a little bit. Want to be at dawn. Alright, that's our ambition sorted. Um, What are the sale prices like? Not the best. Six six nine. It's not the best sale prices, right? We need more tools. So I'm gonna buy up all of these tools. Uh, I'm gonna buy that one stack of ammo. Good for food. Uh, the arena is again not a nice arena fight for me. It was a cheap gladiator, right? Three thousand nine fifty. It's exactly what I have. Interesting. Um, I don't know if I want to be going for expensive hires just yet, though. I'd rather go for the cheap caravan hand. 
and the caravan had he's got bleeder but he's got uh actual potential so he near max rolled the melee skill he rolled well on the life he rolled well on the fatigue three stars on the fatigue mid rolled on the initiative uh rolled well on the defense of the star and defense you have potential so you're gonna go there and we're gonna give you one of those we're gonna give you one of those and we're gonna give you one of those with a dagger in the pocket uh we'll give you a spear if you've not got the best attack likewise with you actually and let's repair that up. Right, we're gonna do a bunch of selling at the next town over. So that dagger that we should shove. Um, right, so we're done in the south, day 25, so we're not done in the south, we're going to spend a little bit more time down here. Let's scout down this corner, so this ambition sorted. So we're getting, we can stay here till day 40. That definitely irritated me. Is that the rest new unlocked though? It is the rest new unlocked. So you got a couple of options. Uh, we could grab the drill sergeant early, so make sure men gain two percent more XP at level one, uh, because we just uh, retired some guys with permanent injuries. It's great early on getting that XP. Ten percent XP feels nice. It's very expensive though, three thousand five hundred. There is the lookout, which gives us the increased sight radius, which I really like, uh, and the cartographer. I actually really like an early cartographer. I normally always rush Lookout and Scout. Um, Cartographer pays herself quite quickly. 140 crowns for every location. Um, let's try for it. Getting a little bit unconventional with our early rest and years. It's always fun just to do things a little bit differently. But we really want to be getting some beast fights so we can get Scout as our third pickup. We are poachers so we do get boosted movement speed. Doth Rejectors Coven. So we got some pennies from that. Many Necros events. We don't want to do that though, especially after the losses we've just had. So we've got two spooky Necros event uh, camps. Which is something we'll be doing when we're a little bit better geared. So you want to scooch through here back to Hikma. This episode is running a little bit long, so I think I will save the rest of this uh, fog hunting for the next episode. So I'd like to wish you all well. I'm Taki. Let's pay our respects to uh, those initial losses. But considering that we've only had um, three losses, well, we did then retire to, so five losses uh, by day 26. It's pretty good. But anyway, I'm Taki. Have a good day. Bye bye.